What's up guys? Today's video is a purchase, process, review, and unboxing of the Yard Force purchased at the Sam's Club. Um, so I'm gonna give an overview of why I went with Yard Force. I'm gonna do an unboxing as well as tell you my overall take on what it, it feels like, what it looks like, how it cuts, and hope that it works out for you. I'm doing this video because I could not find any other video on YouTube besides the promotional video from the company. So this is gonna be an honest opinion for me while I went with it and the results from my cut. And here we go. So my current mower was the EGO electric motor. Um, had it for about five, six years. And last week my son was mowing the, the lawn and said, hey dad, the blades aren't turning. It's just making a humming sound. So I went, looked at it and found that I guessed uh, some magnets that were inside the motor busted up and were clogging up the rotation of the motor. So instead of me trying to repair it, it's been about five, six years. It was my first electric mower. Um, I think it was on the brink of starting something big for EGO, but now they've advanced their mowers um, thus far and it surpassed the model that I had. Again, I was very pleased with it. I was happy the fact that it could collapse and stand up. I was happy that it didn't leak oil, no gas fumes, anything like that. You could just recharge the pack. But over time, um, the battery started to wear down and I just started to get tired of charging it continuously because my yard is kind of big or if it's thick, it needs multiple batteries. So here's a look at the EGO 56 volt uh, model that I have. I don't know the actual model name, but this is the model that I have. I really enjoyed it. It was a great mower. The reason that I'm not choosing the same mower again is because uh, we're selling this home. We're gonna have a, a larger home with a larger yard. And I just don't wanna have to struggle with having an electric mower to do that yard work at that larger yard. So I decided to do some research. I looked at Toros. I was a very big fan of Toros. Uh, I've had Murray before. I've looked at Honda. I've looked at Snapper. I've looked at Craftsman. And you probably wonder how did I end up at Yard Force? I'm a frequent shopper at Sam's and I was in there and saw it and I was like, oh, it's only 250. Okay, all the other mowers were start the ones that I wanted started around 369 and went up from there. So I was like, well, why not give it a try? You know, worst thing that could happen is I don't like it. I drain the gas from it and I take it back. First, let's go ahead and do an unboxing of it. I'll take it out, kind of set it up and show you what that looks like. Now that I've got it all unboxed, I'm gonna share with you what was in the box. So we'll start with the grass bag. I just put the instructions inside here because it's a little windy. You have the handle um, bolts that hold the handle pieces together. You have the oil that you put in the motor. You have your grass discharge chute. You have your, your plug that goes in the back of the mower for mulching. Uh, you have the actual unit, of course. You have the upper bars and you have the lower bars for the extension. So at this point, I'm gonna put it all together, get some oil in it, get some gas in it, start it up, and then I'm gonna probably change. It's getting a little warm out here, here in Texas. So change it out. I'll change my clothes out and show you some before and after pictures of the yard, maybe get some video of the yard being cut and I'll let you be the judge if you tell me what you think. I'll give you my final judgment, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. All right, so I took a brief moment to pause my installation to show you this quick tidbit. So right now I'm holding one of the, the lock bolts knobs that combines the unit with the lower handle. And I noticed that on the first one that I was trying to connect, I had to slightly move the wheel because the hole is aligned right on the other side of the back wheel. So, I had to put it through the lower bar and then finagle it into the hole. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like, just so you're aware. Hopefully this gets caught in the scene. So I have to put it through the lower bar. As the plane goes overhead, All right, so 
what I just did, this side was easier than the right side. Uh, the right side, I actually had to put it in the lower bar and move the wheel out to get the bolt in. This side was easier. So I just wanted you to see that. There might be uh, something that you have to do if you, if you choose to get one of these and put it together. All right, so I decided to take some time to show you what this looks like with the upper handle. As I was taking the plastic off, on the lower handle, it slid right off. On the upper handle, what it looks like is they slid it on and then assembled the hardware. What you're probably gonna have to do is either rip it off or cut it off. Uh, if you look, it's inside the plastic there. So I'm probably just gonna rip it off and any excess, I'll just cut it out with my, my box cutter. Oh, it came right off. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Uh, to the left is the EGO um, electric unit, and to the right is the Yard Force that I just bought and put together for you guys. First off, the EGO is a 20-inch blade, as the Yard Force is a 22-inch. Of course, the EGO was electric versus me going back to gas. Um, I do like the, the high wheels in the back. There's a 12-inch wheel on the back of the Yard Force. I think that it's an 11 inch on the EGO. Um, handle height is about the same. It looks like the Yard Force is a little bit longer. That's not a big uh, issue. Um, now also, what I did enjoy about the EGO is the handle that allows you to, lay, to raise all four wheels at once. And you have that same handle on the Yard Force with seven different levels. So I've already lifted it up. It was at a one. I put it on, it looks like a three or four right now. That's about the height that I use my uh, mower to mow my lawn. Also, I typically don't uh, use the bag. I like to mulch my yard so it can refertilize itself. So the first cut is gonna be using that same method without the bag and the mulch, the mulcher is inside the back. So. Let me lift it up to show you exactly where it goes. Right under here is where that little piece goes. And it has a little clip that holds it in place for the mulching. So I'm gonna see how this goes for the first cut. And I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for the first time. See if it starts on the first pull. Okay, so first impressions. I was a little bit skeptical about buying a $250 mower compared to some of the other mowers I had been researching. But honestly, the build quality on this thing is really good. It feels sturdy. Of course, I haven't cut grass with it yet. I haven't mowed any lawn. I've gassed it up, I've oiled it up, and I've adjusted the height. But other than that, I haven't done anything else. So I'm gonna start with the first pull to see if it starts off the first pull. And then I'm gonna change clothes a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and see what this thing does, all right? Yard force, here we go. Okay, let me change so we can see how it cuts. So I got changed out, got some protection from the sun, got my safety glasses. What I did not do the first time I did the startup was test the rotation of the rear wheel drive. So when I start it up right now, I'm gonna test that out. And then I'm gonna go right into cutting a few lines, finish out the yard, then I'll do the front yard. First impressions on the cut, it's very strong. The, the wheels, you feel them turning, it's rear wheel drive. Uh, it is a little bit slower than I anticipated or wanted it to be. So a couple of times I've let it go just to see how easy it will be to free push it. And it's not heavy at all. It's gonna depend on how fast you want a mower to be as it's rolling, if it's self-propelled. 
And uh, I mean, I'm gonna finish the yard off, just wanna take that break. But I wanna show you some of the lines that it's making right now in the grass. If you look with me over here, some of the lines, they look nice and crisp so far. And I do have it kind of high because I like my grass high. I will notice right here, it's missing a few blades. We'll see if that continues as I continue to cut. All right. All right, so finished the backyard, about to get started on the front right now. I'm gonna lower it down one notch because my front yard is not as thick as the back. And I'll do a final review of the before and after pictures and give you my final take on how I like the mower, how I like the cut. And we'll go from there and I'll let you make your own judgment. All right, so let's get started on the front. So let me go over some of the things that I really liked about it. I love the fact that it was a single shift raise and lower for all four wheels. That was very similar to what I had with the EGO. It was just one shifter and it raised or lowered all of them equally. Some of you might want to vary that. So this might not be the more for you if you want to be able to adjust every wheel or uh, make the front lower than the rear or vice versa. Um, but that one shift lever, I like all my grass even that was very good it was very simple to maneuver secondly i like the fact that the gas cap was connected to the actual mower by the little plastic tab i know when i was pouring the gas and i screwed it off um, the tab just dangled there because sometimes if you forget to put it on or you get distracted and you start the motor up and the gas goes everywhere you don't want that to happen so that was another thing that i really liked um, another thing that I really liked was the fact that it was easy to maneuver with those uh, larger 12 inch rear wheels even if i wasn't using the propulsion from the uh, rear motor pushing the mower it was easy without that to maneuver and push even though it's a heavier mower to weigh down on the grass it wasn't heavy to push to me all right now what i did not like was the ergonomics of the handle um, when i grabbed the handle it was just not comfortable so if you're trying to buy something like this to do maybe yard works for a company your hands are going to be probably hurting by the end of the day unless you're wearing gloves or if you just got just some strong hands that you don't care what it feels like but it was not as comfortable as any other motor i've uh, mower i've ever experienced if there were two downsides to this mower i'd say that the ergonomics of the handle as well as the pace of the mower i thought it would be faster and it's not as fast as i thought it'd be okay so here are my final thoughts I'd say that the setup process would have taken about maybe 10 minutes or so had I not been recording and trying to do things back and forth. It was pretty seamless with the setups, very straightforward. The instructions were only a one pager with maybe five, six steps. And I mean, if you've ever done anything before, you can put this more together without any assistance. Um, um, if you are someone that may be you know, not able to lift it out the box or if you don't want to damage the box, you might need two people to help lift it out. But other than that, just the setup overall was very, very simple. I showed you some of the little things uh, before when I was setting it up, like the little knob that had the bolt that makes sure that bolt stays in. Um, when I was taking it out the bag, I noticed that the bolt fell in my hand. So that might be one thing you might want to do differently. You might want to keep that bolt or make sure that bolt stays in there as you screw it on. Also, after I finished mowing the lawn, I had to go back in and retighten the bolts. So you might want to use a dab of Loctite here or there, not the, not the super strength, just a light dab of Loctite to keep those bolts from rattling, rattling loose. Overall, um, if I had to give this mower a number on the scale of one to 10, I'd say, honestly, it was about an, uh, a seven or eight. Um, it was at a slower pace than I thought it would be, but I noticed that I could just still give it a little push. So I guess for me, I was looking more so for it to be self-driven, more so than me pushing it. So when I gave it a little bit of push, it just added to uh, the tires pushing it from the rear wheel drive. So it worked out very good. Also, it was a few times where I felt like it was going a little slow and just released the rear wheel drive and just pushed it myself. And it was very easy to maneuver. Uh, it's a good weight to it. And I really, really liked it. If you're looking for a good quality mower, and I don't know how long it'll last. This is week one, fresh out the box. 
I might do another video week two or I'll recut it. I might do it at a different setting. I might attach the bag to it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think you might want to see. If you want to make a um, good choice on if you want this mower or not. All right. So I hope everything I went through was helpful. I know I'm still sweating from being out here in this Texas heat. It's about 91 degrees here, but I knocked it out. I hope you enjoyed the footage and the final yard. All right. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and let me know what else you might want to see. All right. Thanks. Take care.